everyone, I'm Sarah Hornsby and I am your online myofunctional therapist and I make videos about myofunctional therapy to help all of you guys get information about this stuff online. And today's video was inspired by an orthodontist who I think brought up a really good point when we were talking the other day. His name is Dr. Brian Hockel and he is in the San Francisco Bay Area. So if you're looking for someone to do orthotropics, he is an awesome resource and I would highly recommend him. So what our discussion was, was about the role of the tongue and kind of the discussion around a tongue thrust swallowing pattern. And for years and years in this field, we would talk about the tongue thrust, which is the forward pushing motion of the tongue. We would talk about the tongue pushing against the teeth during each swallow, and that caused an open bite to form, sometimes in the front called an anterior open bite, or sometimes in the sides called a lateral or posterior open bite. So these tongue thrusts were a big deal for us before we fully understood what was happening. Um, in reality, if you have a tongue thrust swallowing pattern, you also have a low postured tongue. And what we've discovered over the years is that the tongue thrust, that pushing forward motion of the tongue, actually plays much less of a role in oral development and the structures than we realized back in like the 60s and 70s, I guess. So the tongue posture, meaning the tongue resting on the roof of the mouth with the lips together and breathing through the nose is really what promotes correct facial growth and development and jaw growth and wide palated kids. So from a really early age, if we are kids breathing through our noses, our lips are together, our tongue is up on the roof of the mouth, like fully blanketing across the whole top and filling up the oral cavity three dimensionally, our faces will grow more optimally than if our tongue is low and our mouths are open. So the thing with the tongue thrust is it's not really, it's more like a side effect. It's not really the root cause of a lot of these myofunctional disorders or dysfunctions. So thank you, Dr. Brian Hockel, for bringing that up. And I hope that this video can help people understand that sometimes the tongue thrust gets, I think, too much credit for the problems that it causes. And really, we all need to be working on correcting that low tongue posture. And that can be related to tongue ties or to mouth breathing. So find a myofunctional therapist, get some help with this, find an orthotropic or, or orthotropic doctor or dentist or an orthodontist who can look at your airway and your tongue posture. Somebody who gets those things can help you a lot. So let me know if you guys have questions, share this video, post comments below, subscribe to my channel, and I will be making more videos like this for you guys in the future.